Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and there's quite a few in this one. So I hope you've got a cup of coffee to sit and watch. Uh, yeah, and this has come to me from the good people at ColourfulDIYCraft.com. Uh, they asked me if I would like some products to show on my channel and I said yes, of course. Uh, the website looks really, really good and uh, they've got some lovely things. So these are what I've chosen to show you. And there is a special offer on at the moment. 15% off if you uh, go onto the website and place an order between the 1st of December and the 15th of December. So yeah, 15% off. Excellent. We all like money off. So I'll put details on the screen for you as well if you want to go and check that out. But let's have a look and see what we got. So yeah, these that I've got here, could have got 15% off them as well. Yay. Okay, so we have one diamond painting two diamond paintings three four five oh we've got a little face looking at us there and da -da -da, last but not least a little fluffy thing <laughs> so let's have a look at the little fluffy first oh when i saw this i thought oh i've got to have one of those uh yeah you know i like getting my uh, quirky little bits and pieces and this one is a fluffy one. Look at this. Oh, I wish there was Feely Vision. This is so soft and it's like rainbowy colours. So it's like one of your standard little uh, diamond painting pens just with a single placer. And it's got its fair coat on. <laughs> so how cute is that? What do you get for the person who's got everything? a fluffy diamond painting pen and actually it's quite nice to hold as well because it just makes it that little bit thicker and that stops it from slipping as well so yay look at that but uh, the price of this uh, was actually $2.99 uh, I will put the pounds across the screen uh, I am learning to do this I found a conversion on my phone so I can put the uh, British uh, pounds on as well uh, if you are wanting to know uh, yes so look at that oh, I could sit and just oh stroke this all day if you're just having a stressful day just get your pen out and give it a little bit of a stroke it's really really soft very very nice have to keep it away from Millie though our Scottish Terrier because anything fluffy she believes is hers and she does like to shake them and savage them just a little bit so yay liking that just thought I'd get uh, just a quirky little bit just to add on look how much actually I used to have a feather duster that was similar to this obviously a lot bigger <laughs> you could maybe use it for cleaning your keyboard if you've uh, got a, lap, a desktop computer, you know, you want to clean your keyboard or whatever, probably be quite good for that as well. You could do a bit of diamond painting and then do a bit of cleaning afterwards. Oh, did I say the cleaning word? Oh, dear. No, we're diamond painting. <laughs> right, so seeing as this little chap is looking at us, let's have a look at this one first. Uh, the price of this one was $4.99. And let's just get into them and have a look. Just a little bit different, this one. And they're fairly new, I think, to the website. I just thought, oh, I like that. Okay, look at that. It's like sort of a brandy glass, really, isn't it? Shape, like the bowl-shaped ones. Yeah, you'd get a really good drink if you got a glass that size, wouldn't you? That's the size of my hand, look. Wow. <laughs> no, drink sensibly. <laughs> Pen, boat and wax, I was stand a little toolkit. It is special drill. It wouldn't be a Liz unboxing without a special drill. And we have nine different gems and colours. So let's just give it a bit of a flatten. Uh, it's come a long way and it's been wrapped around the gems. So oops, just keep that straight there, Liz. We don't want that going on the glue. So just pop it under something heavy and it will hopefully just flatten it out that little bit. You can always iron the reverse of them before you put the gems on. Obviously test your iron first. Uh, I have got an ironing video uh, on my playlists and yeah but isn't that just absolutely gorgeous and my lovely favourite trick when I get these and they've got the white background is cutting them out and I thought oh this is a pretty good nice big shape to actually cut out 
So when you see the next one that I've got as well, um, in fact, let's have a look at that one because I've got them actually as a pair. Uh, there was a couple, quite a few designs in this one, but these were the two that I picked out that I liked. So they were both the same price, $4.99. So then I got the little set. Oh, look, he's gorgeous. Look at that little face. Oh, he's having a really good laugh. Standard toolkit, pen, boat and wax. Let's keep the drills separate, otherwise I'll get muddled. You know what I'm like. So let's give this one a bit of a flatten as well. Okay. Let me just flatten him out. This one is 10 different colours. So our little snowman is 9 colours. And the centre is 10 colours. But I just thought it was quite nice. I do like to get things in like little groups, little pairs or little sets of three that one's just got a bit crease there not that it matters because that will be cut off anyway so what i was thinking with these was um actually they're a slightly different shape aren't they that's more of a lagery type glass but it's only got a small stem hmm. big sherry glass <laughs> whatever's your tip i like christmas uh so if i cut them out i could then stick them flat either um onto the kitchen wall or onto where we've maybe got a few drinks out you know if you've got people coming round and then they're not taking up any space like an ornament or anything but you've still got your like your decoration so you've got a couple of drinks glasses there and maybe just stand a little decoration in front or something uh, so yeah i will be doing these cutting them out cutting them round i will seal them as well um i don't normally seal pictures if they're going on walls and if they're going in frames or whatever but anything where i'm cutting it out i do find that it's probably best to seal it so it stops any of the gems coming off the edges because obviously i am going to be cutting quite nearish to those stems to those edges so it will just hold them in place uh, for cutting out and everything as well um but then yeah you've got them as like i mean you could even put them say on your fridge put a magnet on the back and put them on your fridge but i just thought they're quite good i mean you could put them on cards i know that's my favorite thing um i am from a card making background i got into diamond painting through card making uh so yeah just something a little bit different i do like to rather than just having lots and lots of pictures i like to try different things and i thought oh i'll get those and i'll cut them out and uh yeah i mean if, if you're lucky enough to have a a little bar in your room or you've got your little uh man shed or she shed you can put them in there you know uh have them at the back of the bar and bottles or whatever and normal glasses in front they'll just be very very sparkly so yeah looking forward to getting these done okay so let's have a look at snowman's drills first to say we are all crystals so nine different colors we said didn't we oh lovely christmasy colors so we've got our standard very nice bright crystals and a deep red deep red and your yeah, christmasy bright red and a little bit of an orangey peachy colour and a very pale lemony colour and oh look at that a nice ice blue colour and then that's like a grey very hint of a greenish colour on there and then oh my goodness me look at those little marquees how small are they oh my goodness they are teeny tiny they're gonna be fun to put on and then some semi spheres with uh, no facets there look little round red ones so i believe they're going to be all your holly berries there where do those little teeny tinies go let me have a look number eight so that is letter a so oh look they're all like sparkly frost on the uh, holly leaves there oh goodness and then we've got some little light like, snowflakes there as well Wow, they're going to be fun to put on. But I will be doing a video um, soon. I was hoping to get it done before Christmas, but I'm not sure I'll get it done uh, now. But there will be a video coming up showing you how to put the little teeny tiny ones on. The techniques that I use, because uh, I know some people do struggle with it. I know I used to, and I seem to have found a little niche now of how I, I use them. So keep watching, because that will be coming up. Oh, look at that little smile and that carrot nose. And he's even got the little glints in his eyes, look, because he's so happy. 
Very, very happy snowman. Yay! I think these are great. Let me give it a quick measure. So if you are wanting to know, let's see, your 30 by 30 is your full picture size. Um, if you're wanting to just cut it along the lines and put it in a frame, then it is 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. But the actual size of the glass is just over six and a half inches, which is 16 and a half centimetres. And the length of it is nine and a quarter inches uh, sorry 23 and a half centimeters so yeah it's a nice size as i say that's my idea cutting them out and using them because we've got like an old-fashioned sideboard and i think it would look quite nice sat at the back of the sideboard so it looks like you've got big glasses there and um, which you know again aren't taking up any uh, footprint space as it were just uh, showing there so oh he's gorgeous i love that one Okay, and then a Santa, let's have a look at you. We'll give you a quick measure again while we've got my tape measure out. And have a look. So lengthwise, I think you're going to be about the same. Yep, nine and a quarter inches, 23 and a half centimetres. But you're not quite as round because you're a little bit slimmer glass. And it's about just under six inches, which is 15 centimetres. So... I think that's really, really cute the way they've got a Santa in a glass. It'd be quite nice, actually, wouldn't it, if you had a glass and it was decorated with Santa on the outside. Mind you, if you had a glass that size, wow. <laughs> okay, let me see. Where do I get into these? Oh, look, we've got a couple of extra little uh, escapees there. Look, I've decided to jump into this packet. I don't think there's anything to do with this one because they're a plain acrylic gems, not the sparklies. Oh, they're different. Okay, I've just spotted one that's very pretty. So, again, we started off with our lovely clear crystal. And I love it when you get these. And it's just like nearly blue. They're so clear. And then the deep red. And then that little cherry red. And a little bit of your goldy colour there. And a bit deeper yellowy gold. Your standard black gem. And look at those, a very, very, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, very, very pale pink. Just a very slight hint of pink. And then we've got semi-spheres in the gold there. And then, oh, look at those teeny tiny marquees in gold, goodness me. And then again, we've got some little semi-spheres in the red for the berries. So we know where the berries are going to be. Where are the little gold ones and the semi-spheres going then? So 10 colours were number 8 and 9, so we're A and B. Okay, A, oh, dotted round here, so in between the holly berries and the little marquees. Let me look, let me look. Oh, are the little tiny stars, look. They're like a little, well, more of a flowery, it's just four um, points on them just all dotted in between as decoration. So they're going to be very, very pretty. Oh, look at that, he's just so squidgy, look at his squidgy nose. Right, so that's our first two. Let me just put these back in the bags and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so staying on the theme of Christmas, let me just uh, have a look, where does this one open? Come on, don't be fooling me, where do you open? Oh, it's there. <laughs> okay, so the price of this one, again, was $4.99. And again, look, this is a, a nice, easy to cut out shape. Uh, now, if you do cut it out, obviously, you've got your landlocked pieces there. But I would just probably leave those in. Um, nobody's going to notice if you don't cut around those. There's nothing wrong with doing it as the picture as is and putting it into a frame. And these fit great in those magnetic frames because uh, they are like the 25 centimetres. But I, say, I like cutting them out and having them like shaped stickers and things round about. So let's just flatten this down again, put it under something heavy. 
I just thought the colours on this were so pretty and there was quite a few different ones. There's some fantastic things. I'm loving all the new stuff that's come out for this Christmas. Uh, I could literally just have a house full um, and I practically have. <laughs> so this one is 11 different gems and colours. Again, while well, I've got my dirt measure, I'll have a look. So yeah, it's 25 centimetres if you wanted to just pop it in a frame. Um, the actual full canvas is your 30 centimetres. The size of your stocking, I'm thinking, is going to be your 25. Yeah, because it's touching top to bottom. So it is 25 centimetres long, which is nine and three quarter inches. And then your width, because we've got a different... We're looking at about six and a half-ish inches width which is 16 and a half ish centimeters so yeah but isn't that pretty i just thought oh if we're going to have all these santas and things around let's have some stockings and you could always put them either side of the fireplace or get a few and hang them from the fireplace and again because um you're not sort of they're not bulky and they're not going to be overly heavy um unfortunately you won't be able to put anything in them of course Ugh, that's always a downside <laughs> but they will look pretty if you put a few across uh, your fireplace if you've uh, got a fireplace mm, there's an idea right pen board and wax so i will be cutting these out this is why i've ordered them purposefully because I do like it when you get a good shape that you can just cut round. Right, so let's have a look at these 11 colours. Ooh, very nice. So, a little bit different colour palette, this one. So, we're starting off with a lovely lilac -y colour there, and a deep gold, and your aqua blue, and your cherry red, and then your standard nice bright silver, your lime green. Oh, and look, we've got some twinklers. So they are um, an Aurora Borealis and an iridescent coated standard crystal. So whereas you just get your standard, oh, come on, play ball, come on, get together, that's it. Your standard crystal, which is just plain, you then get these with an iridescent coating on and you just get that extra effect on them. And are they the sparklers or twinklers? I can never remember what name they are, but they're very, very pretty and just make it that little bit different. They actually make silver look plain, which you wouldn't think that was possible, would you? <laughs> We've got a darker red there and then our special shapes. We've got a round faceted uh, iridescent coated uh, silver, some little teeny tiny silver stars and then some semispheres in the gold with the lower facets. So yeah, I think you can more or less see where the larger ones go on this and decorating all around the top of the stock in there. Very, very pretty and all around these little snowflakes and everything. This is going to look super when it's done. Really looking forward to doing this one. Lots of Christmassy sparkle. On to the next one. So this one is Christmas without being too Christmassy. It sort of could be wintry as well. So not necessarily Christmas. Uh, let me just uh, get this one out of its bag. Come on, out you come. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's sort of decorated on its antlers but it's not holy christmas is it you could have it probably up most times of the year and uh, definitely wintry but i just thought the stag was just quite stunning uh, um our daughter does love stags so it may be going her way just a quick squidge down okay again it's a 30 by 30 canvas and no i won't be putting this one out it will just be going in a frame <laughs> So we have our standard pen, butt and wax as normal. Enough to do your kit. Uh, this one is 10 different colours. It looks like we have some larger gems as well. But I so I did think it's just that little bit different. Christmas without being too Christmas. Something that you could use. I don't think anybody's going to say anything if you've got it up all year round. 
and yeah 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches so great in those lovely little magnetic picture frames or any picture frame that you've got or again you can just cut these out and put them on mount board um it is a, sort of a cheaper way to do things if you're wanting to just have them to put them out each christmas uh, you could always just use the whole of the canvas either use nail varnish remover to take off your edges um or wash your tape or paint your edges some people paint the edges uh, it depends how careful you are i'm not very good at straight lines with the paintbrush but uh, yeah i tend to cut mine out <laughs> let's have a look at how it turn different colors oh they're different oh lovely i like getting different gems so we've got a lovely bronzy browny color there for our stag and again lovely crystal nice and clear and a little bit deeper brown color and a pale lemony gold and a honey gold colour and that's like a grey, almost blue but a greyy colour that one a very very pale blue that one and then oh a nice bright orange oh back to Halloween but look at those so it looks as though all the ones dangling from his antlers are actually in this orange colour with the iridescent coating on so it's definitely not going to look christmas it's sort of a wintry autumny theme this one isn't it so yay that's really good I like that so there's a lot of them so it's all going to be i was thinking it was maybe going to be different colors not that i've looked at the picture of course <laughs> if i'd have looked there i'd have known um but yeah so not Christmassy at all. Excellent. So you've got the choice with this one. And he is a stag. He's not a reindeer because he's not got a red nose. <laughs> and then we've just got the two round semispheres for his eyes there. Um, so we only need two. And look how many we've got. Excellent. We like spares. So yeah, very, very nice. I like that one. Let's so say it may uh, be going our daughter's way because she does like her stags. And oh, the price of this one was $4.99. And then finally, not Christmas at all, some of the new range that has just come out. Look, we've got some big eyes looking at us. Sorry about the glare, it is a little bit dark in here today. All right, let me just uh, find the opening. There it is. I think you're going to like this one. And this one is again a 30 by 30. This one is $3.99. But look how cute is that? Look at that little face and the little beak. Oh, the E's the wrong way around. <laughs> oh, goodness me. You know when you look at something and you think, there's something wrong there. Yeah, the E's the wrong way around. But you get, on. well, I suppose if you put it that way up. Yeah, if you read it that way up, it's the right way around. <laughs> It's this gorgeous little owl and it's got a beautiful flower um, garland or wreath in her hair. So very, very pretty and lots of little flowers at the bottom as well. And I thought, oh, I've just got to have that. You know, I love my owls. I've got to, quite a collection of them. And they say there is quite a few um, in this similar style to this one. So I may be getting a few more. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have an owl corner, I think. I've got so many owl diamond paintings now. So this one is 12 different gems and colours. But isn't she gorgeous? Oh, you just can't resist those big eyes looking at you. Ooh. <laughs> right, let's give it a quick measure. So, yeah, it's 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches square. So, again, your uh, magnetic frames are any 30 by 30 frame. Put a board around the edge. You could actually put a lovely, um, like, pale lilac colour as a background to that if you wanted to put it in a 30 by 30. And it would just make the colours then pop out that little bit more. Oh, look at that. So, a pen, boat and wax as standard. And let's have a look at these colours. Ooh, ooh, big ones, right. <laughs> so we start off with our lovely limey green and our nice sea bright blue. 
that's like a grapey purpley colour and that's like a pinky reddy colour and a lovely amber orange colour and just sort of a well, on a bronzyish colour, brown colour and then our special shapes we have this aqua blue uh, marquise oh and then they're gorgeous look that's um, a purple with no facets on with an iridescent coating and a little teardrop and then uh, a green marquee with an iridescent coating on and a purple marquee with an iridescent coating on and then some huge amber coloured ones which we only need one and we've got four we like spares and then just a little teeny tiny packet of your standard white acrylic gems so wow look at those oh that's gorgeous i think you can see look where all the different colored marquees and everything are just scattered around between the flowers and the leaves all around her and then her little tummy and everything is done probably in the browns and everything and then just one great big uh, teardrop in the middle there for her little uh, beak oh they just draw you in don't they and anything with big eyes just looks so cute so quite uh, a different mix uh, a few christmas and a couple not christmas and a fluffy pen to finish off <laughs> so we've had our lovely little owl and then we had our very handsome stag there and then we went on to christmas or we started with christmas with our very pretty stocking different colour palette that one and then our two uh, huge glasses with our snowman and our santa in and as i said a fluffy pen to finish off with huge thank you colourful diycraft.com for sending me them uh, i love them can't wait to get them done and use my fluffy pen actually it's nice and light that one as well it's uh, quite sort of bulky ish if you prefer holding something a little bit uh, thicker uh, without being too heavy which is great uh, there are lots of other bits and pieces as well so do go and check those out in the tools and everything section and the accessories so if you have enjoyed looking at these with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can don't forget to check out with that 15 percent off uh, before the 15th of december obviously if you're watching this after the 15th of december just check out the website and see what other special offers and things there are and um, they do quite often have other special offers and things as well it's always worth checking and if you want to join our little family and stay with us and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.